Dearly beloved, we are gathered here as the people of God to witness the marriage of Amanda and Adam. Marriage is a gift of God, sealed by a sacred covenant. Shakes the week right off of me, filling up. By birth, Amanda is my cousin, but in my heart, she's my sister. A sister is your partner in crime, your very best friend. Someone who is always there for you, no matter when or what you may need. And she always seems to know just what that is, even when you don't. She's your sunshine on a rainy day, a loving hand to hold and shoulder to cry on. She's your confidant and human diary. The one person who knows you better than anyone else in the world. And the one you know will be honest with you, even when it isn't what you want to hear. She's your biggest fan, your greatest cheerleader. She's your hero. We have shared so much together, and I couldn't be more excited for this next chapter of her life with Adam. I couldn't have handpicked a more amazing person for her to spend her life with. Adam's my best friend, and he's the best man that I know. I always knew someone wonderful would find him and realize, like me, how great he is. And luckily, that's exactly what happened with Amanda. It was easy to see that she had found her Mr. Rights. <laughs> and when I saw Amanda look at him, when they didn't think anybody else was watching, there was a shine in her eye that you just can't explain. Adam, today is the day that I have dreamed of my entire life. What I never could have dreamed of was that I would be marrying a man as wonderful as you. Each and every day, you inspire me with your ambition, hard work, humor, and love for life. Even in the darkest of times, I saw light because I had you by my side. As I look to the future, I can't help but smile thinking of all the great things to come. I love you with all of my heart, and I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle when you become my husband. Love always and for eternity, Amanda. These will be the hands that you will hold tomorrow and the next day and into the next decade. These are the hands that will wipe away tears of joy and sorrow from your eyes. These are the hands that when wrinkled and spotted with age will still be reaching for yours. Without doubt, you understood my dreams and my desires. You could not imagine how happy that makes me. Feel it now every time I leave. How happy you make me and how I love you. There is no need to be afraid. With hearts like ours, nothing will ever tire them and nothing will break them. Our love will keep us forever young. You will always be the one that I love and I will love forever with all my heart. So I just want to go back about four years ago. I had a 60th birthday party and we took the boat out. Some very good friends up at the lake said, I think something going to happen over there. <laughs> and I said, no, that's ridiculous. Two and a half years later, this young man came up to me and asked me, best thing that ever happened in my life. You know what you know, looks best on you? This bow tie. <laughs> On this special day, I want you to know how special you are to me. You mean so much to me that I would move heaven and earth just to see you smile. You are the shining light in my life that grows brighter and brighter each day. Not a second goes by that I don't think about you and how much joy you have brought to my world.
No matter what life throws at you, just know that you will always have me to turn to. I will love you forever and only wish that I had a thousand more lives to love you in. Love, your husband, Adam. I'm a thousand miles from coziness. Amanda, I give myself to you to be your husband. I promise to love and sustain you in the covenant of marriage. From this day forward, in sickness and in health, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, as long as we both shall live. It leads to you. It leads to you. Adam, I give myself to you to be your wife. I promise to love and sustain you in the covenant of marriage from this day forward, in sickness and in health, in plenty and in what, in joy and in sorrow, as long as we both shall live. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss one another. There is a passage from the Bible that has always reminded me of Amanda. Proverbs 31, 25. She is clothed in strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. And although no one can predict what the future will hold, there is one thing that I am completely sure of. Amanda and Adam's future will be beautiful because they have each other. Today I will call you my bride, and for the rest of our lives we will have each other as husband and wife. I can only see good things in our future and all the memories that we will make together. I vow to love you unconditionally every day and a little more with every day that passes.